in 2019, I retired uh, from the government service after serving the government for 25 years. Uh, Atomy was introduced to me in 2016. I was not that active then, but every day that I uh, introduced the product, consumers were getting more and more. So here I am now. Uh, I've been an active member since 2019, but I've been a member in 2016. I filed my retirement and doing out of me full time. Now I would ask you, how far are you willing to take the risk in doing out of me? To the first time guests, new members, if you already know what the company is all about, hanggang kailan nyo po gagawin si Atomy and that you are willing to take the risk. First of all, before we answer that question, we have to be certain, bakit nyo siya ginagawa? Why are you doing it? You must have this motivation in doing something. Hindi mo gagawin yung isang bagay kung wala kang magigain. Right? You will not do a thing if there is no gain. What motivates you? What pushes you to do atomy? Probably these are some that uh, motivates you. It could be money. Probably, right? Pera. Ayaw nyo ng pera? Possible that this is one thing that drives you, that excites you to do atomy. It could be health. Well, you cannot buy supplements in atomy if you don't have money. Uh, considering we are a third world country, we need money. What is cheaper in other countries may not be cheaper in our, cheap in our country because of our economic condition. We need money. And you need help too. Probably you are interested in travel, traveling in other countries. Yes, that could be your motivation. Financial freedom. Who doesn't like financial freedom? And most of all, of course, balanced life. You need to be healthy, you need to be wealthy, and of course, you need to take care of your spiritual life too. It's not all money, it's not all emotion, it's also taking care of your soul. And this is one good thing about Atomy. If you will observe, after Success Academy, there is a revival meeting, right? It's not all money. Sa mga bago po, Ang atomy hindi pera-pera lang. It reminds us to serve the Almighty. Because whatever you do, if God is not there, your labor is in vain. It could be money, it could be health, travel, financial freedom, a balanced life. It could be family. It could be your family, right? Okay. Whatever your family looks like, they are still your motivation. Okay. If you are motivated to do a thing, then you need something to achieve your motivation. Kailangan mo ng isang bagay to reach your you want money, right? How can you get how can you generate money? You need a system. You need something to generate money. Let me introduce Atomy. Atomy is a made system. It's a tool. Now, in my research, the probability of success in a company depends on some factors. Even if you want to do something, you want to generate money, if you are in a wrong company, then you are working hard and you are working in vain. Pero kung nandung ka sa tamang company, if you are in a good company, the probability of success is high if, if, there, if these things are present. Okay, number one, product value. Are the products being bought by the consumers? Does the product have value? Take for example, Hemohim. Some cancer patients cannot live without at Hemohim. Right? Whether they like it or not, they 
should buy it because it makes them well. Binibili ba ng tao? Yes. Maybe, as I've said, the price may not be cheap, but if you need that product, you will do something to buy it. Hindi po ba? Pag sinabi ng mga medical practitioner, uminom ka nito, pero wala kang pambili, but you need to live. You, you will do everything to buy that. Kasi kailangan mo eh. This is a joke. Kahit sabihin ng doktor, kung yun lang ay kabubuhay mo, lumunok ka ng pako, ay ba'y lulunokin mo eh? Kasi bakit? Kung yun lang ang kabubuhay mo. But if it's hemohim, you should not mind of the price because it makes you well. Does the product have value? Meron po. People are buying the products. A company that you can do with your full-time or part-time effort. We have this, anatomy. You can do it online or offline. You can do it full-time or part-time. Does the company provide training support? Yes, you are here. One day seminar. You hear product discussion. You are being trained how to do the business. There is Success Academy. You have center meeting. You have center seminar. So, Atomy provides the training support. We have a righteous compensation plan, right? If you work hard, you will be paid more. If you work less, of course, you will be paid less. If you don't work, of course, there's no commission. No work, no pay. Pero excited ka every Tuesday, magbukas ng website. Di ba? Kita mo lang yung account mo, even if there is a commission once a month, once a blue moon, once in a blue moon. The thing is, you're still excited. And do we have a wide consumer base? Yes, we are roughly going on 17 million members globally. So you need, yes, you can clap harder than that. Palakpakan po natin. Okay, so you have your motivation, the thing that push you to do, Atomy. We have a system, so combined, you and the company will go a long way. But here is the reality. Along the way, when you do Atomy, it's not a straight path. Right? Hindi po siya madali. That's why, even if you explain everything in a member, sometimes members do not understand, sometimes they do not attend. And sometimes, their account is terminated, right? Because their levels of motivation gets high and gets low. Hindi po siya straight, but uh, this is just real talk. Although you are a member, the company is there, you have your motivation, but you need to work. And here is the path, how it looks like. Hindi po siya straight path. Pataas, pababa, until you work for how many years. This is how our motivation level gets high and gets low. Now, in my research, there are factors for everyone, everyone's motivation to, to keep at par. Para ma, ma, mataas palagi yung motivation level mo, it will depend on these factors. Okay, number one, you must have a purpose. When, when you are frustrated, when you are demotivated, let's ask ourselves, Bakit tayo na-excite nung una? Ano ba yung purpose mo? Ba't ginagawa mo si Atomy? Bakit ka na-excite nung una? Bakit ngayon hindi ka na-excited? You go back to your why. Bakit mo siya ginagawa? Why, you, why do you do it? Because, for, because of money. For your family. Because you need, you want to travel. You want a balanced life. So bakit ngayon hindi ka na-excited? So revisit your purpose. Set a clear target, set clear targets, continuous, you should learn continuously, be with 
supportive people, and visualize success. Now, let's get them one by one, okay? So, you need to revisit your why. Bakit ko siya ginagawa? So, yung, kung, if your reason is your family, hindi mo na ba mahal ang family mo? So, you should keep on doing it so that your motivation level remains high. Number two, set clear targets. Okay? One reason why other members are demotivated, they are frustrated because they don't have targets. When I say target, it doesn't mean it's hard to achieve. Okay? There are two kinds of goals. Short-term goals and long-term goals. If you can, of course, be, we, 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 we dream of becoming one day an imperial master, right? But will imperial master uh, be achieved overnight? Kaya nyo bang mag imperial master in six months' time? In one year time? It takes time. The imperial master masters shown before, yung mga 13, they achieve imperial mastership for a period of 9 years or 10 years. So, that is our long-term goal. Now, our short-term goal should be to become first sales master. You cannot achieve imperial master if you are not a crown master. Crown master if you are not a royal master. Royal master goes down until sales master. And even if you want to be a sales master, if your personal PV is less than 700,000, you should have a short-term goal of reaching 700,000 PB. Or for the, for the beginners, maybe 10,000 PB, maybe 100,000 PB, or 500,000 PB, 300,000 PB. Meron po tayong, let us, uh, you should set short-term goals to maintain your motivation level. Para hindi ka na discourage Okay? Because one discouraging factor are targets. You may be, I'll, I'll, I'll give an illustration, okay? You may be a good basketball player, but if you don't score, later on, madi-discourage ka, di ba? Magaling ka, pero hindi ka pinapasahan ng bola, hindi ka nakakashoot, hindi ka nakakascore, later on, you will get discouraged. You will ask yourself, talaga bang sa basketball ako? Baka mag-chest na lang yata ako, kasi hindi ako nakakascore eh. See? You are frustrated even if you're good at it because you don't meet the mark. The same with membership, with Atomy membership. You are a member for so long. Pero wala ka kasing target. You just, you just deliver. We just visit members. Pero what is the target? How many are you visiting? How many PBs are you generating? There is no short-term target. Therefore, motivation level drops. Okay. Let me encourage you with this. You know this, okay? Uh, there was a study, how would you know that you will become successful in one field? Now, Angela Duckworth, a professor of psychology from the University of Pennsylvania, conducted a study, okay? This is, this is not hearsay. It's not a chismis. This is a study. So, you can assess yourself, am I going to succeed in anatomy? An example, again, I'll go back with Hemohim. Why do you believe that, uh, why do you believe that Hemohim is a good product? Why? Because, uh, was it only a mixture of herbal, herbal liquids or what? Because it undergone studies for eight years. Scientists were able to study it. There is a clinical study. That's why we believe Hemohim is, is a good product. Now, how would I know if I become successful? Let's refer to studies. Now, in this book, Grit, Angela Duckworth, a professor of psychology from the University of Pennsylvania, said this. So they... They talk to many people. One, military personnel. Sino sa mga military personnel na to ang makakatapos ng training? 
who among the teachers in a particular school with unhealthy environment will stay in that school? How many Quiz B students will make it to the top? And you know what her findings were? Ano yung findings niya? Kung sino yung merong pagpupursige at hindi gumigibab dun sa pinasok niyang activity. Like for example, uh, being successful in one field does not depend on intelligence. Marami pong matatalino pero hindi successful sa buhay. Kasi hindi nakadepende ang pagiging successful sa intelligence. Right? Hindi rin po sa lakas. Hindi sa good looks. Karanasan ko yan. Hindi na get ng iba. Get na, ano ko yan, uh, uh, naranasan ko yan. Hindi po talaga nag, mag, nagiging nagpapasaksid ang good, good looks. Hindi pa rin naget ng iba. Okay? Kahit magandang lalaki ka, magandang babae ka, hindi yan basehan ng pagiging successful. Alam nyo anong basehan? Grit. Perseverance. Yung hindi nagpapatalo. Ang nagwawagi, hindi umaayaw. Ang umaayaw, hindi nagwawagi. That's perseverance. Again, I ask, how far are you willing to take the risk in doing atomy? We had our Success Academy a week ago, right? Dami po nag-attend doon. After that, what? Will they stay or will they go? We can now see who will become successful or not because of the study of Dr. Angela Lee Duckworth. Kasi yung meron lang daw pagpupursige, naabutin yung mga pangarap niya. Sila lang ang nagwawagi sa buhay. Study po ito. So if we will follow, if we will follow the study, you can answer by yourself if you will become successful or not. How long will you take that risk in doing atomy? Okay? So you need to keep your motivation level. Next, continuous learning. You should learn continuously. I, I, I said this in Clark Imperial Center. If you are good in presenting the product, then be good at it. Kung magaling kang mag-present ng product, maging master ka dyan. Doon ka magaling eh. You find your gift. If you are good in inviting members to the center, then be an expert of it. Learn to improve your skill. That's continuous learning. If you are good in presenting the compensation plan at maraming na-inspire sa compensation plan, then be good at it. If you are good in selling, wow, that's the best. That's the best gift. Selling, although Atom is not selling, why are there people na kasalubong niya lang, na kasakay niya lang sa jeep, na pamember niya, bumili pa ng absolute? These people are good in selling. I love that gift. And if you are good in speaking, then be good at it. How? How will I be good at it? Learn. Have that skill. You want more partners. You want more business partners. And you are good at it. Turuan mo naman kami. How? Because we need that gift. So ano man po ang meron ka, be a master of it, be good at it. Again, we, we turn to research. Okay. Question. Why do some people succeed after failing? While others continue to plunder. Bakit merong iba palag, nagsasaksid sila pagkatapos nilang palaging nagpe-fail? You know, based on research from Professor Yang Wang from Kellogg Institute, Institute of Management in the U.S. Ito po yung findings nila. It turns out that trying again and again, only works if you learn from your previous failures. Kapag daw palagi kang nabibigo, 
Oh, yung may mga ex dyan. Pag palagi kang nabibigo, bigo ka ngayon, bigo ka na naman bukas, yung daw palaging nabibigo na ini-improve nila. Yung mga kinukorek nila, yung mga pagka, pagbagsak nila, ito yung mga taong nagiging successful in the end. Like for example, Thomas Alba Edison who invented the light bulb. Marami siyang trials na ginawa. Maraming failures. Disclaimer, okay? Hindi po ito yung palagi kang nagpipail and yet you do not do something to improve. That's different. But studies show that those people who failed over and over again but corrected their mistakes in the past tend to become successful over those who did not do anything. Naget niyo po? Maraming tao, ah, magiging successful ako kasi palagi ako nagpe-fail. Depende. Depende. Kung palagi ka ng fail-fail, wala ka namang ginagawang improvement, tama. Failure ka nga. But, studies show that those who failed over and over again but corrected their mistakes, in the end, became successful. These are studies. No, no, we, we, ask our, we, we ask ourselves, will we become successful? That depends on you. If we will correct our, our mistake. Okay. One factor, one, one, one frustration is rejection. Bakit yung kamagahan ako hindi ko ma-invite? Maybe it's in the approach. Then you study how to approach properly. You correct your mistake and then try it over and over over again. Then you become a master of it. You are now a master inviter in atomy. Your group grows. But it's not, it's easier said than done. Nasasabi lang natin, pero kaya nga it takes time. Okay? Be with supportive people. To uplift your motivation level, be with supportive people. Be with people with the same mindset. Your motivation that encourages you will probably, in the end, are the ones who will discourage you. Based on experience. Yung family mo na ina-expect mo na mag encourage ako, mag sa encourage sa'yo. Well, real talk, yung family mo will be the ones who will encourage, will discourage you. Have you observed yung mga successful na tao walang nagsabi sa'yo na huminto ka na? They tell you, keep on going because they were there before. Pero yung taong hindi nakaranas kung ano yung ginagawa mo, siyang magdi-discourage sa'yo na hindi naman naging successful. That could be your family, your friends. Talking from experience. Yung mga tao na may businesses, Umunlad sa buhay. Pag sinabi mong meron akong business, kaya lang hirap gawin. Patuloy ka lang, sasabihin nila. Pero sabihin mo sa kapamilya mo, meron akong business, kaya lang lumalaki pa lang siya, ang daming stress. Ay, tigil mo na yan. Hindi naman niya naiintiyan. Why consult people who have no knowledge on your business? Be with positive people. Doing atomy is not all money. We have members na hindi sila after sa kitaan but they are happy being with us. Because Atomy members are happy. Kahit wala pang komisyon. Ilang, ling, ilang buwan na, wala pa rin komisyon. Pero masaya sila. Some people becomes at home with these people because good vibes lahat. And then they check their commission wala na naman. I heard this discussion before. Pag the one year ka na, two years ka na sa Atomy, at wala ka pang komisyon, huwag kang gigib up. Alam mo bakit? Kasi kapag gumib up ka, masyado nang nakakahiya. Kasi meron kang ine-encourage, two years mo na siyang ine-encourage, kapag gumib up ka, sasabihin niya sa'yo, kita mo na, sabi ko na nga ba, walang mangyayari dyan eh. Eh kung sumama ako, eh di dalawa na kami. Dalawa na kaming hindi nagko-commission. See, huwag ka nang gigibap. Masyado nang nakakahiya. 
mingle with people with the same mindset to uplift your mo your your motivation level kasi marami po ang na-frustrate because their motivation level drops down you su you should be with with supportive people and lastly visualize success wala ka pa dun pero you are claiming already that you will become successful everything is there you the company it only takes time do it maybe one year two years three years stay at it because there are studies as i've said meron na mga pag-aaral yung mga taong that does not give up in their chosen field become successful later on you have to push yourself to the limit in ending in ending oh gising na po Gising na, ending na. I'll tell you a story. Some of the members already know this story. Sa isang kaharian, nagpa-contest yung hari. Meron siyang anak na prinsesa. Sabi niya, kung sino ang makakalangoy sa swimming pool na to na puno, puno ng crocodile, puno ng mga... Ahas, puno ng shark, eh bibigyan ko na limpak-limpak na kayamanan at ipapakasal ko ang aking anak, ang prinsesa. Anybody? Walang nag-volunteer. Then, paalis na yung hari at ang mga, ang mga, yung mga lahat ng mga kanang kamay niya, meron siyang narinig na splash dun sa swimming pool. May, may lumundag, somebody took the challenge. So, lumangay nung lumangoy yung, yung nasa pool hanggang natapos niya from point A to point B. He finished the race. Pagod na pagod yung lumangoy. Bakit? Kasi kakainin siya ng mga crocodile at saka ng mga shark. Eh. Tinanong ngayon siya nung hari. Pagod na pagod siya. <sighs> okay, magaling binata. Tanungin kita ngayon, anong gusto mo sa kaharian na to? Lahat ng kayamanan o pakasalan ang aking anak? Sabi nung pagod na pagod. Ah, hindi ko po kailangan ng kayamanan, mahal na hari. Okay, hindi mo kailangan yung kayamanan. Baka gusto mong maging asawa itong aking anak. Hindi ko rin po kailangan ang anak ninyo na maging asawa. Eh, ba't ka lumundag? Anong gusto mo? Gusto ko lang pong malaman kung sino yung bastos na tumulak sa akin. Hindi pala siya nag... He did not take the challenge. Meron tumulak sa kanya, eh, mamamatay siya, kaya nilangoy niya eh. Kakainin siya ng crocodile eh. Maybe we can get something out of the, out of the story. In doing something, you have to push yourself to the limit. If nobody pushes you, push yourself. Your sponsor later on will not push you. You are on your own. Be independent. Push yourself. Maybe others will answer, It's not for me. Hindi sa akin yan eh. Uh, it's not yet time. Let me tell you this. Don't wait for the perfect moment. Take that moment and make it perfect. If nobody pushed you, push yourself because you have your motivation with you. We have a good company. All you need, all, all the company needs is you. Push yourself and reach that goal. Thank you very much and good afternoon. Thank you.